Immersive Tech presents Brain Computer Interfaces. I think we can all agree that computers are great. They make our lives easier, better, and more fun. But wouldn't it be great if we didn't have to use our hands all the time? With BCI or a Brain Computer Interface, you won't have to. What is BCI? BCI, which is sometimes called a Direct Neural Interface or Brain Machine Interface, is where the brain communicates directly with an external device. Researchers started researching BCIs as early as the 1970s. So if BCI started in the 1970s, then what has already been done? Early examples of BCI were quite invasive. What does it mean to be invasive? I'm glad you asked. Imagine someone drilling a hole into your head, then placing microchips, electrodes, and a whole bunch of wires into your head. Now that's invasive. Luckily for us, researchers have transitioned to partial and now even non-invasive BCIs. Would you rather wear an electrode hat or drill a hole in your head? It's a no-brainer. So how does a BCI work? Well, let's first take a look at how the brain works. The brain is made up of specialized cells called neurons, and we have, well, a whole bunch of them. When we have a thought or we want to do something, these neurons communicate with each other to relay our thoughts and intentions. When these neurons relay information, they are communicating with each other electrically. This electrical activity can be measured with EEGs, MRIs, and MEGs. A BCI works by detecting, interpreting, and translating those electrical signals into tangible actions. Most BCIs operate under the same principle regardless whether it is invasive or not. However, there are clear trade-offs. Invasive BCIs have more accurate signal detection, while non-invasive BCIs have lower detection accuracy, but leaves you with a much desired full intact head. Currently, with BCI, very simple navigation can be performed. However, there is definite potential and as research continues, and as we gain a better understanding of how the brain works, fantasy will one day become reality. Let's take a quick look. This red wire takes the brain wave and feeds it into the device here. This patented device created by NeuroSky in Actually, Silicon Valley uses a mathematic well, secret good, that turns uh, brain waves uh, into commands. Um, I Interfaced with a video game, you place the cursor on an object. A strong attention reading enables you to push or pull the objects. A strong meditation reading enables you to levitate objects. You have to practice gauging your level of concentration, also finding ways to disrupt it. Okay, let me levitate the desk. And I'm going to drop Okay, ready? I'm going to drop it. NeuroSky simply builds the brainwave reading component. Other companies like Ologic apply it to their products, like this robot. We were really the most excited about was that you could pretty much control any mechanical system using their technology. Eventually, Ologic wants to use NeuroSky's technology to build thought-controlled robots for the handicapped and elderly. And NASA wants to create robots to help astronauts whose gloves are too bulky to work a joystick or hold tools. By next year, you may already see video games, toys, even cell phones controlled by your brain waves. Imagine in the future sitting back with a drink in one hand, chips in another, and playing your favorite game by your thoughts alone. Imagine learning whatever your heart desires with the simple press of a button. Imagine being able to replace lost limbs with mechanical analogs and controlling them as seamlessly as your own. These are all examples of future applications of BCI. It's coming, but there is still a long way to go for BCIs and with future development, BCI will be another way of how innovation makes our world an easier, better, and more fun place to be. This has been a presentation of Brain Computer Interfaces by Immersive Tech.